Hello everybody and welcome back for episode 16 of our Kingdom of Gondor campaign in 3rd Age Total War Divide and Conquer. So, last episode we ended up with this battle at Celebrin, where Captain Crackthorn is besieging Balagorn with about twice the amount of troops, but the balance of power is bang on in the middle. Now this battle is quite important because if we win this one, and with a little bit of reinforcements depending on how much we will have left after this battle, um, we can take Dantalad. Oh, we also had a sneaky army, right, I forgot about that. Sneaky army going to Dantalad. Um, and that might just be the last of Mordor's outside settlements, as I like to call them. So, uh, if I remember correctly, they had some Olaghai. Yeah, they do. And for the rest, pretty shitty units. So I do imagine they'll route pretty fast once their captain, who's only an orc raider, dies. Um, and to deal with the Olaghai, we do have the Ballista, so... Kind of boils down to the strategy that we're going to use, uh, the positioning that we can use, um, because taking down the Olaghai without the Ballista would be very difficult, taking down the Olaghai with the Ballista would be very easy. So a lot of it boils down to that. How much damage can the Olaghai do before we take them out? I remember in my... what campaign was it? I think it was the Dwarf campaign. I at one point had to do siege battles against great beasts, um, but there was a nice hill that I could put my ballista on and it would just shrek the beasts like crazy. Alright, the Olakai are holding a ladder, which is a good thing, because two reasons, it looks hilarious. Look at that, <laughs> it looks so fucking silly. Uh, and second of all, they can't use ladders, and usually troops with a ladder, they bug out and they don't do anything for the entire battle, so. Should give our ballista some time. This seem no wait. This seems like it would be a decent enough position. I do have a nice cup of tea ready to go, which is very uh, inspiring for me. All right, let's see. Lycridville archers. Really want to put them here. That's also a good position. Alright, Farmhunt Pikeman. Am I always glad to have you guys around? Going a bit of a thicker line with them, yep. Okay, that doesn't really seem to be working out. So I'll just put them here and I'll move them when the battle starts. Okay, not much strategy involved really. Just regular general bodyguard unit, okay. And then the cavalry, well, they won't do a whole lot. I'll put them here just in case. I um, guess they'll be used to run down enemies, okay. First and foremost, can you hit any? You could potentially hit the ram, but I don't see the point of that. Um, Okay. Let's see what the trolls do. Oh, they're just okay. Ladder shouldn't be able to do anything. That's not a scalable wall. We'll see what happens. It's hard to predict. Very hard to predict. Alrighty. Need to keep an eye on the trolls. Those guys are junk. And again, the trolls will probably wait until the wall is down, well, the gate is down, and then they'll come in. Which is fairly annoying. Perhaps I should already fire my ballista just a tad. It's not like they'll run out of all their ammo, I imagine. Is that their general? I'm not sure. Can I zoom in and check? That is not their general. 
The general's supposed to be somewhere in here. Okay. Not sure where my ballist is going. Should be able to fire. Not sure what the battering ram is doing. Is it bugging out? Nope, it's not. The enemy are battering down the gates. Let them. All right. Three kills, you know. It's not Olokai, but... It is something. I don't think the Olokai are that far out of range. Perhaps they could get close enough. The firing angle's already pretty tight. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. Good hits, though. What are we looking at? Already 12% down. Alright, hold, men, hold! Steadfast, men! Let them come in! Do not fear them. They're not as scary as they seem to be. Give them the old toot toot and let them come in. Do I regret that? Alright, is my ballista firing? They are, okay, good. Are they gonna hit something? Ooh. The enemy have the walls. To our defense, it's all looking will be lost. Pretty close. I'll just let them do their thing, it's fine. I'm already shaken. This should get cut down pretty easily. The archers now we need to save them. Don't need you here. You go back. Ballista is not hitting them. Keeps firing next to them. Which is a real shame. Maybe they'll get a lucky shot in somewhere. We'll see. Not much strategy involved now. Just need to uh, murder them. Oh, we got a hit in. We got two hits in. Nice. It's a big deal. I kinda wanna send the Black Rift Veil Archers in because they do a nice amount of damage, but I'll uh, keep them a little bit behind just now. Trolls are coming in. Now is the time to kill more of them, please. Six. Killed another one. Come on, lads. Kill the trolls. They're the only thing that really scare me. The angle might... I think that might be too close. Oh, I got another shot. Another volley. Oh, miss. Miss, miss, miss. crap -a -doo. They're not gonna hit them at this angle. Fire on the raiders in the bag then. Well, that's some bad news. Trolls coming in is not happy days. They can push straight through my lines if they wanted to. Oof. Oof. That's pretty bad.
this looks familiar. <laughs> Been in the situation before in Nithilian. Well, there's nothing I can do right now. My lines are running awfully thin. We need to reinforcements. Need the assistance of the archers. Well, the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. We've lost a third. Not sure how to feel about it. Don't feel like the battle's going horrible, but. I wish we would have killed the general by now. Some are fighting to the death, it seems. So that's not a bad sign. Not sure those ore creators are coming, but I don't want them to catch my cavalry. Kill them! They're looking nasty. All bloodied up. Should die soon. Did my game crash? What happened? I think my game crashed. Oh, there we go. It's back. So who died? Enemy general. Good, because I wasn't sure if it was enemy general or my general. It is the enemy general. Oh, fuck. No, cap. What? Oh, man. That pause fucked my cavalry. They were, they were not supposed to catch my cavalry like that. That was bullshit. Come on. There's no way they did that distance. Well, at least they didn't get attacked. But we're getting some routes now. We need my general cavalry to chase them down. Patrols should be falling now. Oh, man. They're still hanging in there. Kill the trolls. Run them down. Cavalry. Nice. Charge and this should break. Why is my cavalry not listening? Cavalry, can you please listen to me? They've got a will of their own. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Well, fuck that. Only half our force remains. Is oh, this troll still alive? To fire on the trolls, point blank. I don't give a shit. They need to die. So it's basically just the trolls that are still alive. Oh my god. So bloody. Thought they'd be dead for sure. It's not seem to be the case. You are hitting them, right? Okay, now they're gone. Jesus, two left. Please die. Come on. Kill the fucker, please. How is he still standing? My god, someone killed that absolute madman. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Now oh, they're running. It's a lot of troops.
Oh, he's gone. Thank God. Kill them all. Bit of a cheeky charge in the archers. Under raiders, you guys deal with the archers. 94. Good, okay, so he's fucked. We lost 64%. That's quite a bit. But still, we held out. That's the most important part. And we do crush the army. Still, that was tougher than expected. I thought I'd win that one more easily. But I... We live. That's the most important part. And that big army is gone. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. And our game didn't crash. That's always a victory. That is a victory in its own right. Alright. I need to get a new chair. My chair is so squeaky. I'm sure you guys have noticed as well in the recordings. You can just tell whenever I'm moving around because the chair goes Where are you going? Where are you going, man? Alright, let's hope we didn't reinforce that one settlement and then the one army I'm sending north can take it. Ah, uh, we failed the mission. I don't even know what mission we had. Tiritoros. Uh, I'm not gonna fuck with that. Dantalad is still weak. Just one more turn, we can see it under that. This army should be able to take care of it. My lord, approaching quietly. Approach. I'm gonna stick you. Maintain. Ready your weapons. Oh. Have a taste of my blade. Forward. As far as I'm possible. Stick you. Then next turn. Where are you? I don't understand. Okay, so we got a nice amount of money. No construction report though. Trushak. Captain Yagur. He's sending in quite a bit. And the next turn I'll besiege Morigost. Oh. What's this though? So this is the army to take Morigost. Um, Erkestora is also looking. This army is so wounded and so patched up. We can send some reinforcements. Ah, they take more than one turn. That's like they can't get there in one turn. We need roads here badly. We're also upgrading the settlement, which is very necessary. We'll get territorial guardsmen here at least. Hmm. Yeah, I would like to march on. Oh my god, where are those guys coming from? Where are they coming from, man? Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, I mean, you know the deal. We need even more troops. <sighs> Pinned gun on cavalry, always a yes. And then over here, Linear is being besieged by Captain Miliband. Well, let him try to take Lanier. He won't have a good time. This guy's working on my nerves. But then we have these guys coming in, the other name. We were also trying to get together a fleet to sail towards Belphalos, if I can remember correctly. Plenty of commanders here. Mm. Okay, Minister, what am I building there? I am. Skiliath, I am. 
Um, it's a pretty shitty settlement. I want to expand my better summons. I get three. I'm getting mines there. Tarnost. Building. Calumbell. Sheep farming, yes. Sarah Lond. Are those good mines? No, pretty shitty mines. No way. I'll leave that for troops. We are trying to assemble an army in Kirith Yar, but I need some retraining done. So, yeah, okay. Alright, let's just invest everything else in trading troops here. Because Lord knows we'll need them. Thillion Rangers. Always say yes to Thillion Rangers. Can train more troops there next turn. Um, so what's the plan now? Well, we're probably gonna have another siege battle at Kestalad. We'll have to beat those armies, but I need more infantry in there. So I could get together some units, and if I put them here. It should be safe, and then next turn it should be able to make it to Erkestalad in one go. And they're out of those guys' range, out of those guys' range. So as long as they don't besiege me one turn, in which case I will attack them, I can send in these guys, which fill up my roster. But I should send out these guys and get them retrained. That's what I should do. Okay, if I can get those retrained, that would be a huge win. Then I could technically get another force there. Okay, I'm min maxing like crazy. Probably not playing as efficiently as I could, but I'm trying my best. Mordor is just proving time and time again that they're always more annoying and more, how do you say that, survivable than they appear. Every time I think, ah, oh, surely, surely we've taken all their, their production settlements and they can't get out any more troops now. They just whip out stack after stack of shitty units, but still plenty of units. Alright, get married. An armsman's guild in Gelebrin. Mm, I think I'll pass on that. It's a bit expensive for me now. Block Gobble Merland. Love to, but a waste of resources. A construction report, and mighty ho, it's a big one. Okay, so repairs. Kirithyar gets some stables. Still can't retrain anyone there, so. Catapult would be amazing. Is that necessary against the Enid Wife, though? Does that help? I think I'd rather get that one. Okay. Moranon. Upgraded roads. Very good. Very, very good. University. A royal hall. Archery range. Hmm. Culture is okay. Guess I will go for the barracks. Kirilangola library, that's useful. Irkestad, where the hell did the one army go? I'm gonna stick my lord. Approaching quietly. I'm gonna stick you. Sauron's will I am. So I guess the plan is to take Morigost, but uh, I don't think we'll hold on to it. So we will just batter it down and destroy the settlement and then leave it. Maybe go after some other settlements and completely destroy them. Try to stop their unit production. As you wish. Your will, my lord. All right. This guy is chasing me. Orders. Captain Crook. I think that's a RuneScape character. From the Monkey Madness quest line. Okay. Um. Can besiege Tantalad. 
You can defend, but you're only one unit. This is min-max war right here. <laughs> Just trying to assemble troops with the bare minimum. I'd love to retrain these units. Because right now this is such a shitty army. Durthang, same thing. Another Thillian Ranger unit of two guys. Okay, Fangeland. Linear needs to make a move though. Don't want them to be choked out. It has a lot. Lots of retraining. So I'm just making my unit stronger, but that works. That works, okay. Morgos is besieged and they can't get any help, except for Captain Zagmoz. Morgos itself, just the one guy, so as soon as we can attack him, we will. We take Morigos, completely wreck the place. Then we probably just abandon it, or maybe... Maybe we can try to give it to the... Aradunaim for a peace alliance, give him Morgost. Or the Varags of Kant, perhaps they can go to war then here. Um, what else do I want to do? Kirithyar. Nothing. Get a unit of cavalry, that would help massively. Roads in Theragrandost would be nice. Pelargir. Fandiland roads would also be nice, but I can't get them yet. So about Pelargir, uh, the decent naval force, it will get us to, what's it called, Gobbletofalus safely. Taking Gobbletofalus would be very nice, but now we need an army to go to Gobbletofalus. So let's make some troops. Karakast, no wait, Kiridungul, um... Oh wait, was it Mizenthal? I could train some Gondor troops there, which I really want. Get a Mason's all as well. Okay. Could get troops from Fenulon, but Fenulon needs to be strong. I could get an army. Gobbletofalus is pretty weak right now, but I want to capture it with an army that's not too big, but also big enough to defend it easily against even slightly bigger forces. So I want to get at least a pike unit, some infantry, and a couple of archers. Doesn't need to be big. If it's like eight guys, it's plenty. But it does need to be somewhat sizable, you know. And at the end of this episode, we'll do another toggle fog of war and see what all the other factions are up to. Very curious what um, Khan is doing. Doesn't seem like Mortar is applying that much pressure on them, but we'll see. Mortar is relatively calm against me as well. Not sure how that works. He really should not have more movement points. So let's see. Retreat. Oh, that's bullshit. That is bullshit because I checked the movement points. He should not have been able to do that. Oh, but it's only the scouts against my... Yeah, they're... Fucked. The bounce power is not right in this case. I don't think. I just need to charge them and not give them any room. As long as they can't fire and they're always engaged in melee. Should be able to send a chance. Okay. Rush. Literally zero strategy involved. Just rush them. Toot toot. They will fire and you will tank it because you are bosses. Come on. Don't dilly dally. There we go. The fun ends for them. Now they just get cut down. See? You see how it turns around very quickly? Not as strong in melee, are they? Assholes. Doot doot. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. Well, if we're tired, they should be tired too. Okay. 
Come on. I hope that's... Yep, that's there, Captain. There we go. If that doesn't make him rout, I don't know what will. Alright, so that was a... Uh, kind of a pointless battle on their end. I guess it's a good way to cull the herd a bit for us. Unless we have to phase next time. Oh, there to go. So this battle is going to resort to us chasing them, except my guys are standing still off of them. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Can you stop running, please? <laughs> at least fire, at least skirmish tactic me. It'd still be annoying, but... Right now, we're just doing nothing. I think it's just gonna leave the battlefield. Well... Why, why bother attacking me, dude? Why bother? Annoying asshole. Waste my time. As expected. Kill that one. Don't let him get away. No, no. Oh, come on. Did one job. Battle's over. They're gone. This is a clear victory. That's pointless. Fucking pointless. Hope they fuck off now. And attack me, assholes. Fucking assholes. What are they trying to achieve? What point are they trying to prove? Douchebags. We shall remember this day. <laughs> Please don't. There's no need to remember this day at all. Okay. Ah, okay, good. Lin here. Uh, can't say I'm too worried. Pikeman, uh, a bit of tr annoying, but I think I do get a decent settlement to defend. Let's hope. It's a Gondor settlement. Should be okay, right? It does look like wood on the tactics map, so to speak. But looks can be deceiving. And wooden settlements aren't always bad. I just want some towers. Ah, there we go. Towers. Very good. Okay. Um, do have archers. This is pretty pretty nice settlement. The simple three-way split. So there's always the one side that doesn't properly work. Bloop. 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 And... Bloop. There we go. My archer, oh man, trollmen. They're tough. Archers should fire on the pikemen. They are uh, the easiest target to use arrows on. Not sure if my marines are hitting anything like that. Hello. Nice to meet you. Please die. Oh, he's going in ham. Alright, sending in his cavalry first against my spears. So that's always appreciated. If we can 
continue like this, we will smash the enemy. All right. My tower's still firing? I'm not sure if they are. Those horses should die, like, instantly. They're up against the spears, just trying to push through. Should not be doing as well as they are to me. Control man, being of my existence. Well, not that much strategy involved in this one, just need to survive basically. Not the greatest settlement to defend. Nice. That should frighten them a bit. Hmm, they don't really seem to care. I get such a big bonus in terms of morale. If that was my captain, I didn't have a general, my captain would die. My men would straight up just immediately run away. No question about it. You go there, maybe with that tower activated, maybe it'll help out. I'm not sure if it will. But it is worth the attempt. Like, how are these horses pushing through? You're up against spears. Just die. The towers are firing. Please listen to me. Thirty-seven, forty-eight. Ah, oh, they're doing quite a bit of damage. The Harad are uh, nothing to laugh at. And it's a great reminder that I need to seriously upgrade my uh, units a bit. How are they firing? How are they firing? Come on, explain that one to me, please. I hope my captain's in any trouble. Guess the warband's running. We do have a high number of casualties. That worries me. I need to get some Gondor infantry to replace these militia men. Their training is just so slow. It's very hard to get them. Yeah, I definitely need more of them. No excuse. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Our control men. Fucking my shit up. If it wasn't for the towers, we'd have a hard time actually defending this one. Big amount of losses here. That just reminds me that I need to keep the army in Fangulont badly. Hang on a second. Oh shit, who are those guys? Are those your archers? Cut them. See them. Kill them. They're just archers. Don't let them wipe you, please. Well, at least their army is destroyed, but. Heavy fight? I thought it'd be a lot easier. We are 
victorious. Look, our Oof. soldiers have fought and Oof. fucking hard, strong. I need armor upgrades and weapon. I need. I just need better troops. Shit, man. Not a good fight. Not a good fight. A cruel reminder that I am a bit behind. Alright, so the next time he's there. Cool. No biggie, because now we could send the Fangolin. Okay, yes, hello, Angmar. What is it you wish to do? Made right. You hold us at another proposition. Happy permission. I must say, we are not convinced. No. Okay, okay, chill, chill. No, we're not gonna do that. I will give you map information for some money. How does a thousand sound? Free money. This seems quite reasonable. Yeah, no problem. This meeting was disappointing. What? Goodbye. Barracks in Western Asgillyth. Beautiful. Um, Army Barracks. What does that give me? Guard of Asgillyth. It all guard. Gun eh. It does allow me to get more troops. Hmm. Let's get a letter to enter first. Armor upgrades. Okay. Problem is, I can't attack these guys and get my troops back in the same turn. But they can't besiege me in one turn either, so okay. Big army though. That's the only way they can counter me is by using two armies at the same time. That's exactly what they're gonna do. Shit. Alright, first things first. Dun dun dun. Protect the blood of Numenor. You will be taken. My ram isn't ready yet. Are you kidding me? Well, crap, so... Mm, we're gonna have to fight. We can't fight. My army's too small. Ugh, Captain Athrog. Where the hell do you even come from, man? Where the hell do you even come from? Yeah, but I can't move them. Because it's an enemy zone of control, which is bullshit. If I lift the siege, I can still. Why can't I move? Uh, let's reload real quick. Uh, auto save, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Ah, god damn it! Where the fuck did that one army come from anyway? All those raiders, where did they come from? They weren't. There, I never fought them. They just really. They were just hanging around there. God, Mordor has so many just hanging around their armies, just plopping up out of the ground. Mildly annoying. Okay, so, start off. Your orders. Yes. Hang so, trade rights. Yes, hello. Oh, yes, you like that. And you will give me money. I'll ask a little bit more now, because that was generous. So, let's see, 1,500. Would help me out quite a bit. And they accept. Beautiful. Seems like until we meet again. Let's ignore that for a little bit. Let's first deal with Morigost. And there's a fucking random Nazgul popping. Oh my god. So let's check. Where the fuck did that guy come from? Ren the Unclean? Pretty sure I've already beaten him. Once. He does not join in Morigost. But if I take Morig well, if I take Morigost, then he'll definitely attack me, and so will that guy. So will that. I've Where the fuck? So, can I... Alright, I'll do the battle, but I want to check something afterwards. Surely Baradur is empty now. Surely they've just emptied everything if they've just thrown these three big stacks at me. Surely they got nothing. There's no other way, right? Alright, so I'm not going to waste too much time on this battle. It's just going to be using archers to kill one guy. Bloop. Bloop. 
So I have a, something I want to check real quick. These are Arch Militia without the armor upgrade. Regular old Arch Militia, nothing to write home about. These are Arch Militia with armor upgrade. Besides looking awesome, they also get a shield. Does that mean they get an extra defense increase? Shield 2. These guys also get shield 2. So I don't understand. Because th they fight with their shield as well. These guys don't fight with their shield. So they do have a... I guess it counts as a shield. Hm, strange. Just a little something I wanted to check. So maybe I do want to defend this against Rendy and Clean, but I don't know if I can beat them. It's Nazgul, you know? It's Temple Wards. Shit's scary. Alright, batter down the gate. Let's send the archers in. Glorious Fountain Guard. Cool, cool, cool. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemies. I guess I will try giving Morigos to the Aradenaim in return for a tree, uh, peace treaty. Maybe Harad and nah. I can, can kill Harad pretty easily. All right. This is a pretty decent force with the Fountain Guard. They make up for the lack of everything else in this army. Come on, I don't want to waste men on this guy. It's just one guy. It's not all my archers fire on him. It's a bit of a better angle. Alright. Now oh, we got something going. They're a bit confused. Good luck cutting through those pikes. If we continue like this, we will smash our men. We've lost control of the castle. All right. Should die pretty easily. Half the enemy force remains. Poke, poke, poke. Mm. That one percent shouldn't have been. Shouldn't have been there. And there we go. 
Another general down. This is a clear victory. Though I don't think mortar can disintegrate because they don't really work with a family uh, member system. If only that was possible. Oof. That would be nice. Alright, that deserves a sip of tea. Neutralizing Morigost is a win in my book. The book of love and war. Alright. Well, Ren, I don't want to personally diss you. I'm sure your unit is impressively strong, but your retinue doesn't seem too strong. <laughs> There's two of them. Oh god. So Temple Wards, those guys could probably crush me. But I do have Fountain Guard. Well, these guys aren't shitty either. Perhaps I would try to hold on to Morigos. I guess I'll add something else though. I mean, I can hold it against Rishak. Nobody's there. This situation though. Get the hell out of there. You might be a bit stuck, so you have to go this way. Give up on the Dantelad plan for now. Gonna need more troops for that. Throw in some reinforcements. Alright. Oh, yeah, wait. Part of the plan was. I could get far enough. And then I can take settlements down south, destroy them as well. So, plan is get Mordegos, destroy it, and see if I can sell it to the. Not sell it, but trade it to the other name. I think that's a valid plan. Alright, so we're gonna just destroy it. Mind your ears, because destroying stuff is loud. I did warn you. Alright. Either way, move this army out. He can try and chase me, but he won't catch me. Morigos can go fuck itself. We are going to sell it. To the oh, please be interested. Hello, ceasefire. I know, I know. Hear me out. Hear me out. I know you're like, I hate you and all that, but this is a good deal. Morigos. Balanced. Let's see if they take it. This proposal no, okay. Proposition Fine. Ceasefire. I'll give you a region. What do you They really should accept this, by the way, but the AI is just screwed up. And I will even pay you, like, ten grand. Let's not take this any further. Ah, that's bullshit, man. Your orders. My lord. Do I have another diplomat somewhere? Seeing as he isn't interest, uh, interested, I'd rather made a different deal involving Morigos. Because now I'm just giving it as a freebie. Well, I mean, he'll take it and then he'll have to rebuild it though. And I can just send this army and pillage all their settlements. So they just can't produce as many troops. But Adur is still, by the way, full. If he was smart to do the same thing, go for these settlements. Well, State Kestelad is just on its own devices. But hey. But yeah, I guess that is a bitch to hold right now. Next thing is roads, definitely. Okay, 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 okay. Let's cool down for a second. As you wish. Roads. I could get roads in Fanny Land or Linear. Right, we had to do this battle. Right, right, right. Ready your weapons. Assail the enemies of Hello. Hello, we are back. Welcome to the meat grinder, Captain Harun. Uh, just don't join. 
I'll just leave the settings as they are and hope that the AI does not control them. My phone is making some noise. Let's check. Oops, what the hell is going on? Do not disturb. Alright. Uh, have we checked the Gondor Cavalry Militia with armor upgrades? I don't think we have. Mm, although I think we might have. Cause they look similar. Archer Militia with silver. I don't think we've seen them. But where are they? I don't see them. They're pretty cool. The padded armor. Armin Pikeman with silver tier armor. They look just as shitty as ever. And I think that's all. Yes. Alright, the Blackbeard Vale archers. As well as some other shitty tier archers. Same position as usual. Lebanon Marines in the front. Cavalry, you stay here. And then we just have this big clump of infantry, which we are going to move at the start of the battle right away. And we do get the reinforcements. Okay. Um. Pikes. Spikes, and then just plump a bunch of militia in there. The Lambling Clansmen are armor piercing, right? Yes, they are. They'll be nice to have. Boop, 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 boop. No strategy for me. And everyone run, and you guys, Lebanon Marines, run there. Black Rootville Archers. You know your position. And everybody go. Oh, he's being controlled by the AI. Just do nothing. Defensive stance. He's not listening. He's gonna get his army wiped. No, stop that. Defensive, defensive. Yes, don't move. No. Oh my god. I don't understand. All the fucking checkboxes were right. Why? And I'm putting him on defensive. Does he have camels? He does have camels. Jeez. Alright, so he's just gonna crush my army and then. Alright, I'm redoing this battle. You fucking morons! Ah, this pisses me off. This pisses me off more than anything. You have no idea how angry this makes me. This army is getting wiped. At least they're moving some troops across. It's it's peanuts. Because my, tr I'm probably gonna lose a general. Oh my god. Oh, I give up. Why? 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 Why must you not listen to me? Is it that hard? Is it that hard? We could have had it so easy. But then you just had to go and ruin. But then you had to ruin all by saying something stupid like fuck defensive stance. You fucking daft wieners. Well, at least the Archer Militia is joining us on the right flank. Get the cavalry in there. They're not even doing anything! They're just uh, Mexican standoff. At least be aggressive then. Dumb fuck. Don't just stand there. It's not a fucking Clint Eastwood movie. The good, the bad, and the absolute stupid. The cavalry isn't listening either. I keep telling them to go here and they're just... I don't know what they're doing. Do I want to know? Probably not. This camel rider is looking nasty, man. The age-old feud between camel and horse. Alright, well, send in the infantry then, I guess. Just gonna go at them. Fuck strategy, fuck every fucking thing I work for to get this exact positioning straight. By having Linear and Fanulond. 
Ah, oh, you dumb fucks. What is strategy? The buttons! They don't work! They don't work! They don't do what I want them to do! When I say command this army in battle, that means that I command it in battle, right? That's what it means to me. I guess opinions differ? It's not even an opinion. Wow, good tidings indeed. <laughs> Silver linings, you should call it. Silver linings, the enemy general is dead. Now they're running. Get rid of those fuckers. Haradrim archers. If we continue Fuck them like up. This, we will smash the enemy. Don't let them get away. Ah, oh, they're getting away with way too much left. Way too much. What are those guys doing? They've left the battle? They didn't even join the battle. Because now we might go run into my heartland or something silly like that. The army needs to be crushed. Maybe if we kill all 77? No, that's not going to be 90%. Although it is adding up nicely. But that won't be 90%. Yeah, no. Because it, it's already adding in the the runners. And this game sometimes gives me the runners, because holy fuck. Why must you be so stupid? Can you not throw your javelins at your own fucking allies? Alright. This is a clear victory. I mean it is, but that that those casualties completely unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. Ah well. Ah well. That's all I can say about that. Ah well. That's like me reading the news. Everything's fucked in the world. You're just like, ah well. Ah well. Ah well. <laughs> At least we're making progress. Linear is safe once more. We can welcome the other than I'm with open arms now. Well, at least... Ah, oh, they couldn't... No, I ran back to the fort. That's fine, I guess. And you just can't reach Fanulant. That's why we need roads upgrade here. But we can't. It's not in Fanulant nor in here. Both would work. Or I should say either would work. This place needs troops. Hmm... Master Mason's Hall. Uh, Ministereth. Building. Skillieth. Not building. Mm, got the Mason's Guild House. Got some troops. By your command. Those guys to Ministereth for the training at one point. Black Reveal Arches. Okay. Got some dirt paths. Always nice. And we got all that of money. Alright. So that's Trayson's fucked. Morigost is done for, but we'll just we'll just keep going south, taking settlements. The Lamrod's doing jack shit. I'd love to take Gobletophilus. But they just beefed up their troops there. Okay. We're getting more friends in from the other name. Khan is not making the moves I want them to make. All in all, it's not the greatest of situations. We don't know what the Anadwaith are doing because they just don't have vision there. I should get a spy there. And part of me wants to enable this army to go north. You know what I could do? Try to get a watchtower as close as possible to the border. Can't put one here because of the fort. We shall remember this day. We have gained this is Isengard land now. Look, it's black. It's Isengard. Hmm. Interesting. I need a spy badly. I need information on this. I can take th these border territories. 
But that, that gives me some breathing room in Kirithyar. I don't think they're gonna attack me anytime soon. They're probably at war with Isengard. There's no other way. Yep. No, wait, they're not. They're not. They're not at war with Isengard. Whose land was that? It wasn't Rohan land. Very strange. I'd love to have an army here to take these lands, but I'm pretty exposed then. Theragrandos is a great defensive location. But move those troops out of there and they're pretty fucked. Okay. Eric Estorad, we still have to hold. We need to crush armies coming at us. This army is supposed to give us a bit of a break. And then, yeah, I want to get some troops to take Dantalad, but I just can't spare anything. Well, I guess I'll send whatever I have. Towards Galibran, I suppose. Their thing I'm running. Still just getting culture upgrades. I mean, what else can I do? These Athelian Rangers should probably also get back to Athelian at one point, but. They will be a little bit exposed. But they're, they serve no purpose here. If I retrain them, they'll be extremely strong Athelian Rangers. Big army, well, big unit, um, and full chevrons, full XP. That does make quite a big of a difference. Difference. I just blurred out the letters and hope they fit in the word. And at that point, they didn't. And I realized, what the fuck am I seeing? Oh, he takes Morgost. Fine. Absolutely fine. He besieged Irkestolod completely as expected. I hope that's not a diplomat from Khand. As that might mean there's a peace between Khand and Mordor, which would piss me the fuck off. That would make me so angry. Khand is supposed to be our break. They're supposed to be our allies, you know, helping us out. My lord, as you wish. All right. Go no further today. Where? I didn't want okay. What do you don't care? He's just standing here. Quietly. Approaching. Captain of Gondor. I'm going to maintain order. Marchmen. Pop a watchtower down and come back to Gilbert. We tried. We tried. Oh, let's assemble troops at Galabrin. That's something. Okay. Town ready to upgrade. Linear. Hmm, interesting. Not now, though. Summon the siege. Tief is still okay. So he's only sending in the one army now. You move the other one. Oh, what's this? Why? Why? Where do they keep coming from? Where did those guys keep coming from? My god. I thought we were making progress, but now I'm having some doubts. I know there's a settlement down here. Where is it? Probably around here. Ships ready. Be gone. I will not wait. I wonder what I will cut from you first. Once I capture you, your title will ready your weapon. Captain you of stop talking, you fucking ass. Okay. Well. These are troops. It's not a whole lot. Yes. March but it's something. Continuing later. Some gold tier armor for a territorial guardsmen. Curious to see what they'll look like now. Okay, construction report. Fanulon Grand Ex uh, Grain Exchange, not Grand Exchange, I'm not saying RuneScape. Um Shit. Uh leather work would be nice. Minnesithal, Mason's all. Nice, let's get the roads here. Let's... Big chunk of road. 
And Durthang is school. That's also nice. Um, barracks. I need to be able to train troops here. Easterling diplomat. Mordor. He has so many allies, so little enemies. Man, this shit sucks! It's really us against the world. We can't count on the Lamroth. They're worth jack shit. I guess I just need to abandon the troops in Kirithio. Well, not abandon, but like, get this army going somewhere. They need to be doing something. Right now, they're doing nothing. This is a pretty big force to be doing nothing. Yes. I will happily take that. The blood of Let us set up camp. This will be a decent force then. Something that can take down these guys. <sighs> I cannot keep doing this. I seriously can't. Those guys need to get to your castle, lad. We'll hold your uh, castle out against these guys, but like they just keep coming and coming and coming, and we cannot stop them. It's endless. It just feels endless. My God, how do I deal with this? So I feel like this is the right strategy for now. I try to cut them down behind their backs, but like, I'm also defending here constantly. Like, at this point, my defensive phase should be over, but it feels like more defensive than ever. Do I move north here? I don't think there's a point. Need troops. I need troops. I need stronger and better troops. That's not good enough. It's not good enough. I can get Minnesota Guardians. Okay. Okay. Still nothing exactly armor piercing, but. Borders of the Wall. Oh, man. Let's see if I can start unlocking these guys. Well, let's end the turn and see where it goes. But right now, I am feeling hopeless. Well, not hopeless, but it's just... Whew, like where do we go from here? Are we making progress? That's, that's my main question. That's a question I'd love to get answered. Are we making progress? I don't know. I don't know. Like, the one episode, it feels like, oh, oh Rune, I want to be friends with you so badly. Pay me for map information, 2,000. Gets more and more expensive, you know. As more people have it. Okay, no problem, no problem. Joe, just pay me 1,500. That's what Angmar wanted to pay, and like they're all the way up north. It's more valuable Enough to you. Of this for all right, never mind. Words with me. Please attack your castle, get it over with. Come on, do it. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> wanted him to attack me. Man. I know, I know, and I know I'm gonna get comments saying you need to move on mortar fast. They're gonna keep throwing true. I know, I know, but I just can't. I can't get the opening I need, and now we got two big armies here, so I can't use my usual Banyulon bridge linear tactic, because move those fuckers. I wonder what I will cut from you first. Blocking me. I guess I could walk past them, but then they're stuck. I'd have to put them in Lin here, I guess. I will only address you in battle. That's a big army. That is a big, strong army. Fuck. Ready your weapons. We need to do something. Dol Amroth is doing jack shit. I'm surprised they're still holding on to Edelwand. You know, if they all, they should send some fucking help. Alright, Rhodes and Gullibrin is nice. That's really nice. 
Alright, assemble the troops. I wish there was a road going here. At least that'll be a nice horse. Is there another setup? I'm gonna toggle for the. It's a bit cheaty, but look how big this blob of land is. Where is it? Oh, it's all the way over here, Thorband. Okay. They didn't see shit. We're gonna do it at the end of the episode, anyways. It just saves me some time. Okay, so, fuck. How do I deal with this? This is bad news. Horrible news. I need to meet them in battle, and I need to crush them in battle, but I don't think I have the necessary resources to beat them. I could first defeat this army. I think this one will go relatively smooth. This one, though. He's got more than a full stack. What an ass. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. I think I'm gonna end up the ep uh, end off the episode here, and I need to just let it sink in a bit. Think, think how I'm gonna deal with that. Before we end, let's talk about fog of war all the way now, and uh, let's have a look. All right. So, what the fuck is Khan doing? Khan's supposed to be on our side. Um, they're no longer at war with the Haradrim, nor Mordor. They are only at war with the Easterlings now. They made peace. What does that mean? Did the Blue Wizard lose? Is that what happened? No, they're still there. They just made peace with Mordor. Yet why is it impossible for me to make peace? Sakura of Khan. So I guess... I guess Mordor did take... Yeah, they did take Khan. And then they did become an evil faction again. So far for that part of my plan. Mordor is looking stronger than ever. They're pumping units towards me like crazy. I cannot ebb this, this tide, you know? Fuck. So this army, we're going to send it after Thorband. That's my plan. Destroy all these settlements. Just wreck them. He doesn't have a whole lot of settlements left at all. If I take Seragos, he just has Baradur producing troops here. If I just crush him, Morios, it'll be a while before they can start pumping out good units again. Um, here's this fucking land, Logarth. Surely the Torinian Vale. Ah, uh, Torinian Vale's fucked. Surely Bree should stand against that. They're bordering them. They should be doing something. Fucking brown boat. Really? Really? I'm just not getting any help from anyone. I'm supposed to get help from these guys, the Lamroth, but they got nothing. Absolutely, they're desperately still. Tr they got a couple Tolflas again. They're desperately trying to hold on to that. But they should. Oh wait, what's this? It's pretty nice. I might should take Gobble Merland. That would be good. We won't hold on to it, but I should probably just try to get Umbar. That would be amazing. Um. So yeah, it's not looking great just for this. Harad is looking awfully strong. Like seriously, they're a bigger issue than the Lamroth at this point. Mordor should be dealt with by now. I should be able to focus everything down south and then stuff would be pretty easy. If I could send this army down south, they'd wipe the floor with anything. But it's Mordor that's a real issue. So plan for next episode. Hold Irkestalad, take Dantalad. I would have hoped that was the last of it, but we still have to take Logarth then. Because no one's going to do it for me. And they're just going to keep throwing troops out of there. They took it from the elves. Or Northmen. They took it from Northmen, so... Why aren't they at war with anyone but me? I don't understand the end of Lamroth. They're, they should have a whole lot more enemies, but they don't. Alright, and then if we take a look at uh, Rohan. Rohan is fucked. They're really on their last legs. Isengard has spiraled out of control. Um, at least we're getting a bit of a break from the Anandwyth. 
Hmm, Linden's putting some pressure on Balorn. Maybe we can try and take Balorn. Wouldn't be too difficult to defend, it seems. Take Balorn. That's a big chunk of land. That's a huge chunk of land. Um... Okay, who are the Anadwites fighting with, anyway? Are they at war with Dunland? They are. Okay, and Dunland does seem to be putting a bit of a resistance. And Linden is actually... ...doing quite well. They can boost it at the tomb. So, yeah, it does seem like the expansion of the Anadwites is being contained a little bit. Lodris is not having a great time, but I think they'll hold on. They're very strong. The dwarves are still alive somehow. Not sure for how long. So yeah, all in all, we are really just on our own. And that's not great. We cannot count on Khan. Khan got their ass whooped by Harad and then made peace with them. This guy doing absolutely nothing. Ruins also becoming too strong and they'll declare war on me at one point. So it's not looking too great. So all your tips and tricks and suggestions are appreciated because my god, I will need them. And with that said, I will see you next time.